opportunity to make something that's going wrong right. Better call Bacon. Eight on Your Side has been investigating stolen homes and fake real estate deeds. Now a second St. Petersburg man has been arrested in connection with this fake deed scheme. Yeah, the state attorney's office alleges Ernest Lee Peterson took possession of two St. Petersburg homes without the knowledge of the true owners. Eight on Your Side investigator Shannon Bankin joins us now. I feel like I'm having deja vu here. I'm telling you guys, if this sounds familiar, it should sound familiar to everybody out there. A St. Petersburg police detective found that the woman who notarized these deeds is the same Woman who pleaded guilty to notary fraud and other shady deals uncovered by a Better Call Bank investigation. This was Brittany Varner in June, pleading guilty to notary fraud. The state attorney's office accuses her of notarizing fake deeds for two men who used those documents to steal homes in South St. Petersburg. Why did you help people steal houses? I didn't help anybody steal houses. Public documents filed by the state attorney's office paint a different picture. Ernest Lee Peterson is now in the Pinellas County Jail, charged with two felonies, including scheme to defraud. A detective with the St. Petersburg Police Department says Peterson, in 2016, used deeds notarized by Varner to take possession of this home at 3142 17th Avenue South and this one at 2147 17th Avenue South. Both deeds show Peterson bought the homes for zero dollars. Varner received probation in June and agreed to cooperate with authorities. Since then, Peterson is the second man arrested for fraud related to Varner's deeds. In June, Jonathan Wesley Blue was charged with four felonies in connection with sales documented by our investigation. Tony Hay claims Blue stole his rental home using a deed notarized by Varner. After Blue's arrest, Tony finally got his house back after fighting for justice since 2016. It's unclear what happened to the homes Peterson allegedly took possession of. Public records show that they have been transferred into the names of holding companies, and victims in both of those cases were unavailable for comment today. And in Peterson's mm -hmm. case, we mm -hmm. know of just two homes, or we know about more? Actually, I've been digging through records, and I found another one today. I spoke with the victim in that case, and she tells me that her home was empty because she was caring for her elderly mother, and one day her family discovered a strange man at the house mowing the lawn. Peterson claimed that he sold him the house, but she didn't sell in the house, and she was able to get that questionable deed thrown out. So she has her house back, but other people don't have their houses back Just yet. Just keeps trying it mm -hmm. over and over again. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. The number is 1-855-BANKIN.